what's this video all about? I mean, I've not been posting for a while now. I've not been posting on Twitter, on X, on YouTube, nothing. Uh, and I'm going to go into that in a second. Now, if you're not gathered by the title, I'm going to be talking the reality of burnout, my realization of what burnout is, and uh, what's been going on, really, and how basically what burnout is, where it comes from, why it happens, and how we can get over it. So, the what burnout is, I'm going to start with that. Uh, I don't know whether this is because of my naivety or my ego in the past, but I've always seen burnout as just kind of this excuse that people use to not do the things they need to do, you know, and kind of just like, oh, sure, mate, just get on with it. But burnout is a lot more than that. This is the first time I've really ever experienced it to this extent, and I can tell you it's no joke, mate. <laughs> it's no joke. Um, burnout isn't struggling, right? There's a massive difference between burnout and struggling. Struggling is when you are still showing up, you're still turning up, you're still making an effort, but it's hard, right? You're going through some difficult times, but at least you're showing up. Burnout is a sense of, I don't know what the um, Google definition of it is, but my definition of burnout is a sense of complete and utter nothing, nothingness, right? It is feeling lost, hopeless, no focus, no clarity, you feel like it's impossible to get back on track, you feel like everything you've been doing has been pointless, you feel like life's pointless, you feel like everything you've done has been a waste of time, you don't know who you are, you've lost a sense of reality, you are disconnected to reality, and you've lost purpose, right? You've lost purpose. Uh, and that's what I've been going through these last few weeks, man, and I'll explain why. So. Rewind to uh, the start of the year, right? When I told myself I was gonna start this self-improvement journey, we'll call it. You know, I started off doing fitness challenges, diet challenges, posting on YouTube and whatnot. Started off in January doing a steak and greens diet. I only ate steak and greens for a month. I lost 10 kg, it was great. Got a lot more fit and healthy in such a short period of time. Saw loads of great results. In February, I ran 10 kilometers every single day for the whole month challenge completed put it onto youtube awesome the momentum was building march i did a cold plunge every single day as well as running every single day as well as dieting every single day amazing momentum is even higher right now it's all going great then comes april i think to myself well how can i top this now how can i go even harder than before so i decided to train like muhammad ali every single day for a month which was fine you know it started off well i was waking up at five in the morning i was going on a 10, uh, 10 kilometer run coming back do an hour on the bags then i go to my nine to five job and after my nine to five i would then do another two hours workout all whilst dieting do my cold plunge uh, every other every so often and having dinner going to bed right i did this for three weeks Hit the three week mark, the 21st of April, and then went and did the London Marathon, which I'd had booked for maybe a month or two prior to this. Uh, and looking back, it probably wasn't the best thing for me to be doing the Muhammad Ali challenge while I had the London Marathon booked, but hey ho, <laughs> we live and learn. Did the London Marathon, injured my knee, it's still injured, I still can't run, I don't know what's wrong with it, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor soon because it's, it's just not getting any better. I've had to cancel my ultra marathon, which was meant to be uh, in about three weeks on the 1st of June. So I've had to cancel that, which was a bummer. I then got food poisoning the day after the London marathon. So all in all, I mean, it's been, it was a horrible couple of weeks and it was a complete write off for the Muhammad Ali challenge, right? Complete write off, I had to stop. And I was laying in bed one day and I was just thinking to myself, because I hate not completing challenges, right? All the challenges that I've done so far, I've completed them, I've done them, it's been great, it's been awesome. This one was a write-off, this one was a fail. I felt like I'd failed myself. And I was saying to myself, what's the point? I was laying in bed and I was saying, what's the point, man? I can't eat properly, I've got food poisoning, my knees, my knees jacked up, I've had to cancel my I've had to cancel my ultra marathon, I can't even run, I can't go to the gym, I've put on I've put on like four or five kg over the last couple of weeks, you know? And I was just digging this pit, I was digging this hole, I was digging, 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 and I just started to completely lose touch with reality. I was completely losing touch with who I was, why I started, where I was headed. I felt so demotivated. I felt so disconnected to everything around me. I didn't want to do anything. I was this close to deleting my YouTube, deleting my TikTok, deleting my Twitter. I actually deleted all my shorts on YouTube from the Muhammad Ali challenge because 
I just felt like I'd failed so bad, so I deleted them all, which I kind of wish I didn't do now, but hindsight's a funny thing. And if you do want to go and see the reels from the Muhammad Ali challenge, um, I'll leave a link down below to my TikTok because it's still on there. But it's annoying because I can't post a full month because I didn't finish it. But anyway, hey ho, moving on. So over the last few weeks, it's been tough, man. I've been battling with these thoughts. I've been wanting to quit. I've been wanting to change direction. I've been wanting to do something else. And lucky for me, right, I've got quite a good network of people around me. I've got good friends, good family. And so I was able to speak to some of them and ask them for advice. And one of my mates told me on the phone, he told me exactly what I needed to hear. And he said to me, Zach, don't forget about what you've been building over the last four or five months. It, don't let it all go to waste. You might not know what you're building yet. You might not know where you're heading yet. You might not know what the destination is going to be yet. But don't let it all go to waste. And it really hit me, man, because then I thought to myself, all the times in my life where I have been doing something and I've not seen results, so I've quit. Or I've been doing something and I've, and I've not and it's not taken me to where I expected it to take me and so I've quit and I've changed my mind and I've done something else and I've been I've done this so many times in my life right so many so many times and I said to myself you know what this is it this is God telling me look you either quit again or you use this burnout as a break you recharge you recharge your mental your spiritual your physical and you get back to it and you continue pushing and building but I've always been so fixated on where I want to be in 10 years time 20 years time 30 years time that I lose touch with reality in this moment I lose the moment that I'm in right now and all I'm trying to say here really is it's the journey that matters right not the destination and the journey can take you anywhere this burnout that I've been going through is all part of the journey right and I have to continue to remind myself of why I started in the first place I'll be honest, man, I completely lost myself trying to prove myself to myself, you know? Don't lose yourself trying to prove yourself is what I'm trying to say. I wasn't seeing any friends, I was barely seeing my family. I thought that in order for me to get to where I wanted to be in life, which is not, I didn't even know where that was, that I had to do it alone, that I, ha that I had to cut myself off from everyone, that I couldn't take any rest, that I had to carry on going, 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 and the truth is that mindset only gets you so far. And true peace of mind comes from being content with what you already have because if you're not content with what you already have you'll never be content with what you want and so the thing that has brought me out of this pit and this massive burnout hole that i was digging myself is reminding myself of why i started in the first place and when you remind yourself of why you started you remember who you are because it's so easy to lose track of that it's so easy to get greedy and start thinking about the money or thinking about okay this isn't working but that's fine because i want something that's going to make me more money or get me more followers or this and that and the truth is right life isn't about all of that life isn't about making as much money as possible life isn't about getting as, getting as famous as possible life isn't about getting as many followers and likes and comments and all that shit. life is about being a good person, leaving a positive mark on the world and trying to be a better human being every single day, right? And that's my why. Who knows where I'm gonna be in a month? Who knows where I'm gonna be in six months? Who knows where I'm gonna be in 10 years time? But what I do know is that this video that I'm making right now is the right thing to do for me. I'm hopefully gonna help one of you guys who are watching this, who perhaps are already going through a burnout. Maybe you've been through one, maybe you're going through one, maybe you feel one is coming, I don't know, but this video is the right thing for me to do. This video is me continuing building what I already started. And this video is what I want to do. <laughs> you know, it's simple as that. But anyway, to conclude this video, because it's getting a bit long now, I just want to say that if you're lost in life, if you don't know where you are, if you don't know what you want to do, if you don't know, if you're losing touch with who you are as a person, just sit down and reflect and remember why you started in the first place. I'm glad that this burnout has happened. It's taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot about myself, about life, and yeah. This has been Zach with a K. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.